support vector machines or SVM. Support vector machines is a powerful classification algorithm that works by finding the hyperplane that best separates classes in the feature space. SVM aims to maximize the margin between the classes, making it a good choice for binary classification, especially when the classes are well separated. Let's go line by line breakdown of the code for implementing support vector machines for classification in Python. So I created an empty file first. Here, first step as usual is to import necessary libraries. So I'm going to import sklearn.svm and import from their SVC. This imports the SVC class, the support vector classifier from Skikit Learn's SVM module. SVC is used for classification task and aims to find the optimal hyperplane that separates classes in the feature space. Next, we'll from sklearn.model selection, import train test split. This imports the train test split function to divide the data set into training and testing sets, which helps in evaluating the model's generalizability to new data. Next, from sklearn metrics, import accuracy score and confusion metrics. This imports accuracy score to measure the accuracy of the predictions and confusion metrics to provide a breakdown of the model's classification performance, showing counts of true positive, true negative, false positive, and false negative. Next, import NumPy as NP. This imports the NumPy library, which is widely used for numerical operations and array manipulation in Python. Now, next step, is to get the sample data. Here we have R studied in grades versus pass fail. So we'll do x equal to NP array, and I have added some data here which defines the feature data x as a NumPy array. Each sublist represents a data point with two features. The first value represents hours studied by a student, the second value represents prior grades, example percentages. The shape of x is 10, 2 indicating 10 example rows with two features each. Next, I'm going to get the y equal to NP array, which defines the target data y as a NumPy array containing binary class labels. Zero represents fail and one represents pass. This is a binary classification task now suitable for SVM. So let's go ahead and split the data into training and testing sets. We can do that by calling the train test split method. Here, we have uh, the train test split method which splits the data into training and testing sets. Now X train and Y train are used to train the model, whereas X test and Y test are used to test the model's performance. Also, we have specified test size is 0.2, which means that 20% of the data will be used for testing while 80% is used for training. We're giving a random state of 42, which sets a seed for reproducibility, ensuring that the data is split is same each time the code is run. Next, let's go ahead and initialize the initialize and train the model. To initialize the model, I'll say model equal to SVC kernel equal to linear. Now this initializes an SVM classifier with a linear kernel. The kernel equal to linear argument specifies that we want to use a linear SVM, which attempts to find a linear hyperplane that best separates the two classes. Other kernel options such as RBF or poly are available for non-linear classification, but here we are going to use linear. Next, we'll do fitting. We'll say model fit X train Y train. Now this trains the SVM model on the training data X train and Y train. The model learns and the optimal hyperplane that separates the data points belonging to each class, maximizing the margin between them. Next, let's make some predictions. ypred equal to model dot predict x test. This uses the trained SVM model to make predictions on the test set x test. For each data point in x test, the model predicts either zero, which is fail, or one, which is pass, based on which side of the hyperplane the data point falls. Next one is to evaluate the model. Now here, we'll first use the accuracy and then the confusion matrix. So the accuracy equal to accuracy score x uh, y pred y uh, y test y pred 
calculates the accuracy of the model by comparing the actual values, which is the y test, to the predicted values y pred. Accuracy is the ratio of correctly predicted instances to the total instances in the test set. Next, our confusion matrix, which computes the confusion matrix for the model showing a breakdown of true positives, which are correctly predicted passes, true negatives, which are correctly predicted fails, then we have false positives, which are incorrectly predicted passes, and we have false negatives, which are incorrectly predicted fails. Now, this provides a more detailed view of the model's performance. And next steps, we just go ahead and print the accuracy and the confusion matrix. So this code here demonstrates a complete implementation of the support vector machine classifier, showing how it uses our studied and prior grades to classify students as passing or failing. The SVM model is trained, tested, and evaluated using both accuracy and a confusion matrix. So I hope you were able to follow along. I'm gonna run this right now. Let's say first make sure I save it. And I'm gonna say Python support and run it. It will give me the accuracy and the confusion matrix. So it's pretty good. And I hope you were able to follow along. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and I'll get back to you.